All right, here's the question for today, and it, it is in relation to Conor McGregor. With Conor McGregor's arrest, Tony Ferguson's restraining order, Matt Hughes suing his brother and more, it's been a rough MMA week outside the cage. When negative news happens, does it affect your enjoyment of the sport? Here are your choices. Meh. When's the first fight? The next one is a little. Behave better, fellas and gals. And the last one is I'm on the verge of quitting. Goes. I'm going to go in the middle there uh, a little because partly because of my job, but also, too, it's, it's that casual fan that drives me nuts because they're the ones that text me and go, what's up with your boy Connor? Why is he flipping out? What's going on with this Matt Hughes fella? And I have to explain to them what's actually going on. And it they never really keep it to that individual. It just kind of bleeds over to the entire sport. And that, that bugs me. So I, when they do these type of things, I myself know that people are going to screw up. But the black mark that it leaves on the sport overall is tough because we constantly have to defend it. How about you, Dan? I want to say the top option as far as when's the next fight because, you know, I don't like I don't like the gossip talk or this or that. And I get it when George Masvidal and other fighters say, you know, hey, we, we need to, you know, uh, move beyond that. But the stuff that we're talking about here, guys, is really hard to ignore. Like Ghost said, it comes at you. So I'll be uh, falling in the middle right where Ghost is because of that. For me, it's meh. When's the first fight? Now, we're getting close for me to join you guys in a little. Behave better. But for the most part, these are very, very powerful people. And honestly, we all have problems. It's just that theirs is a little bit more public. So I, I have my family to worry about, Wonder. my dog to worry about, my friends to worry about. Uh, I'm going to let them handle they business. Yeah, 900 votes came in. 64 said, meh. 64% said, meh. 33% said, a little. And three are actually on the verge of quitting. So we're going to have to save them, people. And one way you can do it is by listening to this fabulous show because we have great fighters that aren't getting in trouble, and Curtis, including Curtis Miller, who will join us in the second hour. It's the MMA Junkie Radio Show on Fight Nation Channel 93. Quick break here at the top of the hour, and we will be back in 